Number 11. I just got an email from Bill and Jane. We've been invited to their 20th anniversary party this weekend. Are we going? That's a two-hour drive from here, and we're not that close to them anyway. Well, we can't just say we're not interested. I know. I'll tell them I've got to write a report. That's not a complete lie. I do have to work on it sometime this weekend. Okay, I'll let them... No. Listening Part 1 Number one. As your financial advisor, I'm looking for ways to reduce costs as well as increase investment profits. I see you have a high monthly storage space bill. That's true. You should downsize the storage space. You could check auction sites to see how much you could get for certain possessions. But some of the things I have, like old pictures, are irreplaceable. I'm not suggesting you sell everything, but get rid of half of it. It would save you $80 a month. Question. What does the advisor suggest that the man do? Number two, with this cable TV package, you get over 250 television stations, ma'am. I find that many selections overwhelming. But you did say you want the cooking station. This would be the cheapest package with that station. It's only $39 a month. I see. That's reasonable. This button on the remote control calls up the menu of stations and programs. It's really quite simple. Okay. Let me think about it. Question. Why does the woman hesitate to get the recommended package? Number three, I noticed my dog was limping on his front right leg this morning, so I brought him here. His paw doesn't show any sign of trauma, such as a tear. It might be a bone fracture, so I'll want to take some x-rays. I'm late for work. Could I leave him here until later this afternoon? Of course. We'll put him in the kennel. We'll provide one meal as well, if he has an appetite. I appreciate that. We close at 6 p.m., so be sure to pick him up before then. Great. I should be back here by 5.30. Question. What did the man notice about his dog this morning? Number four. Can I help you, ma'am? Yes, I have a question about this discount coupon. Can I use it to buy this news magazine? It's only good for books and gifts. If you read the small print, you'll see that it doesn't apply to certain items, like CDs, DVDs, and magazines. I see. Well, let me see if I can find a paperback that I'd like to read then. Is there anything in particular you like? Well, I like mysteries. Just show me where the mystery section is. It's right over there, next to the non-fiction section. Thank you so much. Question. What will the woman probably do? Number five. Excuse me, are you the hotel concierge? Yes. How can I help you? 
I'm looking for an Italian restaurant. Not too pricey, lots of atmosphere and good food. I'd recommend Vesuvio's. Take a look at this map. Here's where our hotel is located, and here's the restaurant. It looks walkable from here. Yes, it's only six blocks. However, it's not in the best area of town, and it gets worse at night. I'd take a cab if I were you. Question. Why does the concierge suggest taking a taxi to the restaurant? Here are the directions for part two. In this part, you will hear some passages. Each passage will be followed by two questions. For each question, you will have 10 seconds to choose the best answer. The passage and the questions will be given only once. Now let's begin. Listening part two. 文章の内容一致選択. Beldo A. A. Earliest winemaking discovered. Archaeologists recently unearthed the earliest known wine press, a machine used for crushing grapes. Listening, part 